those moments when you don't know what to watch or you don't know where to find it. So today, we're excited to announce a completely redesigned Chromecast app for Android and iOS that'll help you navigate all these great content options. So let's show it to you. So Adam will open up the new Chromecast app and we'll start with what's on. With what's on, we've partnered with many top content apps to give you a single place to view all your featured content. Think of it as a central home for all your entertainment options. So now in one view, I can see what's trending on YouTube today, the most popular episodes from Hulu, latest movie rentals from Google Play Movie, or what's live streaming right now on sports on Watch ESPN. Now we only show you content from the apps you have installed on your phone, so everything here is accessible to you. And we'll continue to add more personalization options over time. Now we've also heard from a lot of our users that they don't know which of their mobile apps work with Chromecast. So now we give a simple view of all your cast-enabled apps. So now let's go watch something. So I was playing with the app and I came across a show called Black Sales. So let's go ahead and select that while we bring up the Chromecast behind me. Now you can see it's executive produced by Michael Bay, so it's gotta have a lot of explosions in it. So let's go ahead and watch this. Now it's gonna link us directly into the Stars app right to Black Sales. We'll even present an option for you to select which Chromecast you wanna send it to. So let's go ahead and select play. And as you expect with Chromecast, we'll be streaming in full HD from the cloud. I always thought this journey would end in battle. But now, as it turns out... It looks great. Else. So now, I can go add this to my Stars playlist if I want to, or I can go back to the Chromecast app and actually go find something else to watch, all without disrupting what's actually playing on the TV screen. It's a much better model. So that's a quick recap of what's on. So now let's talk about the new Devices tab. With Devices, we want to make it easy to control Chromecast from anywhere. So we added playback controls. Pause play, stop casting, change volume. So now any device on your home network can be a remote control for Chromecast. It works great when you have friends over, they can use their own phones to actually pause the playback. So now we'll quickly go to Get Apps. We have thousands of apps that have been cast enabled and many more coming all the time. So we need a better app discovery process. So we redesigned the page completely. And here you'll find new recommendations, new apps, even new offers. So we encourage you to check it out. So now let's talk about search. With search, we want to make it easy for you to find your stuff across all the different cast-enabled apps. So for example, I had heard the X-Files is coming back to network television, so I want to catch up on the old episodes. But I didn't know where to do it. So now I can type in X-Files, or since I'm using my phone, I can just use voice search. X-Files. So you'll see X-Files returns to TV shows and movies. Let's go ahead and pick the TV show. And here we'll tell you all the places you can watch it on Chromecast. Now since I have Netflix and Hulu already installed, I can start watching it right away. But if I don't have that, we'll help you get it. Now we're indexing many of the top content partners, including Netflix, Hulu, HBO, CBS, Fox, Comedy Central, Crackle, and more. And we'll be continuously adding more over time. Now the other cool thing is I can go back to the search results page and also see related YouTube content. Movie clips, interviews of the cast, trailers, and more. So it's a lot of fun. So that's a really quick recap of the new Chromecast app. We really think it's gonna help you find great stuff to watch on Chromecast. This will be rolling out over the next few weeks on Android and iOS. Okay, so now we talked about making it easy to find stuff. How about making it even faster to load? One of the challenges of streaming devices today is that when you wanna watch something, you have to wait tens of seconds for the app to load and the video to buffer. We need to do better. It needs to be faster than even live TV. So we're announcing a new capability called Fast Play. This allows content developers to start prefetching apps and content on Chromecast the moment you open the app on your phone. So let me show you how well this works with Netflix. So we have two Chromecasts here, one with Fast Play and one without, so you can actually do a comparison. So the moment you open the Netflix app, Netflix is automatically detecting the Chromecast on the network and is silently preloading the app. So by the time you click uh, the cast button, it's already there. It's much faster. In fact, in our field test, we actually see it reduces app load time by 80%. But Netflix can go even further by using content caching algorithms to predict what you wanna watch before you even hit play. So let's do a search 
for un unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. And what you'll find is Netflix already knows I watched the first episode, so they're smartly downloading a small segment of the next episode. So by the time I scroll down and hit play, the video is already loaded. No more buffering. It totally changes a streaming experience. Now we're gonna roll this out to all content partners. Many of the improvements will be rolling out today with content prediction features early out, rolling out early next year. We're really excited. So now let's talk about gaming. Gaming is obviously a very big part of the living room experience. But one of the challenges is that gamers are always looking for the latest and greatest hardware. So what does that mean for a product like Chromecast, which is designed to be simple and lightweight? Well, fortunately, we can take advantage of the most powerful gaming device in many people's homes today, their smartphone. So at Google I.O., we launched new developer tools called the Remote Display APIs. This allows a game developer to take their existing mobile game and now render two screens. One screen plays locally on the phone. The other screen is then sent to Chromecast. So effectively, the entire experience is being driven by your powerful phone. So let me show you a real example with Angry Birds Go, a popular racing game. So Adam has already cast the game to Chromecast, and you can see the phone does an amazing job of rendering the game. Angry Birds Go is just much better on the big screen. Now for this demo, Adam's using an iPhone. We re released the remote display APIs for Android and iOS, so everyone can join in the fun. And the other really cool thing is that Adam's using the accelerometer of the phone to control the racetrack. Game developers can take full advantage of the capabilities of the phone, whether it be accelerometer, gyroscope, touch, even a camera. Turns out the, game, uh, the phone is just the best game controller, and it'll continue to get better as you upgrade your phone. Now, Angry Birds Go also supports a multiplayer mode, and it's really simple to set up because as long as your friend has a phone, they have their own game controller with them. Now, this is one of several games we're releasing over the next few months. Uh, another interesting game is WGT Golf, a personal favorite of mine. It looks amazing on the big screen. Another one is Monopoly Here and Now, where you can play four players simultaneously. It's a lot of fun for the family. We think remote display can unlock thousands of mobile games into the living room. We're excited to see where developers go with it. So that's a quick recap of the new Chromecast. We're also announcing today new feeds coming to Backdrop, including support for 500 Pixel and Getty Images. And for your personal photos, in addition to supporting Google Photos, we're also announcing support today for Facebook and Flickr. There's a lot of stuff we couldn't cover today, so we hope you'll try it out and see all the new improvements for yourself. The new Chromecast will be available starting today in 17 countries and we're gonna to continue to offer it for the amazing price of $35. And for those of you who want color options, that, that will also be available starting today from the Google Store. So that's a quick recap of the new Chromecast. So now let's talk about Chromecast audio. So many of us invested a lot of money in our audio systems, but we have no simple way to connect them to the music we love, which lives on our phones. So with Chromecast audio, we can take your existing speakers and make them smart. So let's say I'm at home and I wanna to listen to my home speaker. So let's go ahead and bring up my Nexus device. The first thing you're gonna notice is that Chromecast Audio works with all the top audio apps that already work with Chromecast today, including Pandora, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and more. For now, let's open up Google Play Music, which is the app I use for my daily listening. So you'll see I'm already logged in. Now, Chromecast audio is automatically detected by Play Music, so we just simply press the cast button, and you see a new device type for speakers. So you're gonna see this is very familiar, right? We modeled it exactly after Chromecast. Regardless of whether you're casting to a television or to a speaker, we believe the experience should be simple and consistent. So let's go ahead and select the device. Here's a nice little audio confirmation that you're now connected, and that's it. We don't have a complicated pairing process. And now I can just listen to my tunes. We're streaming the highest quality audio through Wi-Fi to my old home speaker. And because I'm streaming from the cloud, we can get all, rid of all the hassles of Bluetooth. 
The music won't drain the battery on my phone. I can play on any speaker in any room in the house without losing audio. And I won't hear those annoying ringtones every time someone gives me a call. It's just a better experience. Now with Chromecast Audio, I can also control it from a variety of different ways with the lock screen, notification, or I can even go to my Android Wear watch and skip to the next song in the playlist. Oops, I skipped one over. <laughs> there we go. It's really cool. Now, of course, our home speakers are shared devices. It should be easy for anyone in the home to share their own music. So Chromecast Audio automatically works with phones, tablets, and laptops that are connected to your home network. And we also support guest mode. So you can enable friends who don't have your Wi-Fi password to cast the speakers in the same room. So let's pretend my wife walked into the room and she wants to cast her Spotify playlist. Well, today we're excited to announce Spotify is supporting Chromecast and Chromecast Audio. This will be rolling out to all new devices starting today and older generations of Chromecast over the next few weeks. So let's bring up my wife's phone, which happens to be an iPhone. Of course, with Google Cast, we're cross-platform. So regardless of whether you're an Android user, iOS user, or web user, you can cast your music to Chromecast Audio. And now, just like we saw before, all my wife needs to do is press the cast button, select a device, and our music will transition from the phone to the speakers. It's really easy. And she can do this all from the Spotify app. She shouldn't have to learn a new app just because she wants to listen to music at home. It's the same app at work, in the car, and now at your house. Now, the other cool thing is Spotify can support multiple users at the same time. So let's say I want to skip to the next song in my wife's playlist. Well, it turns out I can use my own phone to do it. So let's bring back my Nexus device and open up Spotify. Spotify immediately detect what's playing on the home network and synchronize with the playlist. So now I can actually just swipe to go to the next song. It's really cool. Now, of course, this may start a few battles of which song to play next, but it's really easy. So that's a quick recap of the new Chrome, Chromecast Audio. Now, we're gonna continue to bring more and more apps to Chromecast Audio, but until then, we wanna make it easy for you to send any audio to your speaker. So just like Chromecast, we're gonna support the ability to mirror audio from your Android device or mirror audio from any Chrome tab on Windows, Mac, and Chromebook. So now you can send audio books, podcasts, local music, even YouTube videos right to your home speaker.